Greetings from the ThemeRex team. Today we will learn how we can use different blocks and pages from different demo sites in the Elementra WordPress theme. First, let's go to the dashboard, then navigate Theme Panel, Theme Dashboard, and the tab Skins. For now, we have enabled our default skin. Here, we have lots of different pre-made demo sites with different designs that we can use. Let's say we want to build a website for plumbing services, so let's download it. Okay, it is here now, let's activate it. Good, now it's active. Let's go to the Demo Data tab, and since it will be our main demo site, we will make a full import that will overwrite all the data on our site. Perfect. Now, let's see what we have. Excellent. Our plumbing demo site was installed successfully. Let's open it in the Elementor page builder. If we want to add blocks or pages that were not present on our demo site, it is highly recommended that we check the ThemeRex library first. Here, we can find plenty of ready-to-use template blocks and even entire pages. We can use the search field to find something very specific. Most of the elements from other demo sites can be found here. But let's say we didn't find here the element that we saw in another demo site. Let's go back to the dashboard and open the preview of another skin. In the default skin, there is a nice page called Solutions. We don't have such a page, so let's import it. Go back to the dashboard and activate the default skin. Now, let's go to the Demo Data tab, but this time, let's use the Partial Import and choose Pages for Import. I just need the Solutions page. Okay, it was downloaded and now we can switch back to our plumbing skin. Let's go to the pages and make some important steps. Below, click Edit the Solutions page. Now we need to scroll down and assign the header and the footer for this page. Let's keep the custom header and choose one of the pre-made headers. Footer, let's keep the default one and save the changes. Now let's scroll up and click Edit with Elementor. Agree to leave the page and we can see that the page works well in Elementor. To publish it, let's make some changes on the page. It will make the Publish button active. Now we can publish our page. And let's check the page. Perfect, the page looks great. Let's go back to the dashboard and let's add the page to our menu. Appearance, Menus. Check the proper page and click Add to Menu, and let's move it up a bit. Save the menu and let's view what we've got. Excellent! We have a new page in our menu, and our new page looks great. We will close it for now and review another case with importing pages. Again, we will go to the Theme panel, Theme Dashboard, Skins. Let's preview the Green Energy demo. It has a testimonials page, which looks very nice. If we return to our current site, it also has a testimonials page, but I like that one more, so I want to replace it. First, let's download the green energy skin. Then, activate it. Perfect, it is active now. Then go to the Demo Data tab and again in the Partial Import, choose the page we need. Good, now let's go to the Pages. If we scroll down, we will see that we have two pages with the name Testimonials. It means that they have the same permalink, and if we click Open each of them, we will notice that since they have the same link, we will see two exactly the same pages, but it's super easy to fix. All we need to do is to edit the page that we will not need, our original page, and rename it. Save the changes and return to the dashboard. Now, let's go to the page that we will use and edit as we did previously. Scroll down and choose the header. Let's use the custom one. And again, let's leave the default footer. Save the changes. Now, let's scroll up and click Edit with Elementor. Agree to leave the page. 
And again, let's make some changes to make Elementor active and publish our new page. Now, let's return to the dashboard. Go to Appearance, Menus. Remove our old page. And add our new testimonials page. Let's move it up a bit and save the menu. Good, now let's see the results. We can see that our testimonials page is new, but the design is weird. That's because we forgot to switch to our plumbing skin. In our theme dashboard, let's activate our plumbing skin. And now if we update our page, the design looks great. Now, let's try to choose and copy just a block from another skin. We will again open the Green Energy Demo Preview and go to Services. I like this entire block called Green Solutions. So, let's go back to our dashboard and activate the Green Energy skin. In Demo Data, Partial Import, we will choose Services. Now, let's go to Pages. And this time, we will rename the new services page as we will need just a part of this page. Save the changes and then click Edit with Elementor. Okay, here is our block. We need to click on its container and save it as a template. Let's give it a name, Services, and save the changes. Good, it's saved in our templates. Now let's close the Elementor and return to our dashboard. We must not forget to switch back to our skin, so let's do that. Theme Panel, Theme Dashboard, Activate Plumbing. Great, now we will open our website. Let's paste the section somewhere here. Click Edit with Elementor. Scroll down and click on the plus icon. Then click on Templates, My Templates and insert our saved services template. Do not apply the styles of the container coming from the different skin. We want to keep our plumbing styles. Great, it was pasted successfully. Now we can customize it, add images or icons, etc. Let's not forget to publish the changes and see what we got. Okay, we have our plumbing homepage with a new section. We also have a new design for our testimonials, and we have a completely new page called Solutions. This way, you can mix and match content from different Elementra demos. Hope this video was helpful. Please like and subscribe, and see you in the next videos.